Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you a nice little trick for using OpenBOM to bring the size information right from SolidWorks. And this is done through something called the SolidWorks bounding box. So for each item in SolidWorks, you'll need to open it up. And uh, here I'm going to grab this locking pin, let's say. I'll open this up. We'll all understand what this is here in just a moment. So I want to extract what the sizes are calculated by something called the SOLIDWORKS bounding box and bring that information into my bill of material. Just sort of for reference here, I've already built a bill of material in OpenBOM for this flashlight. It doesn't have to be done ahead of time, but I've already built it and I've said, gee, I'd really like to bring the sizes along. So I've returned back to SOLIDWORKS. I open up some individual parts where I want to get the size information and I say insert bounding box. There's some choices here and you can investigate what these options are, but best fit is probably the best choice. So I choose best fit there. And um, what happens after I've done that operation is the bounding box appears in the feature list and a series of new properties are added to the configuration specific area in SolidWorks. I've noticed a bit of a workaround is sometimes required Sometimes I need to add an additional property here, even if it's just blank, in order to get uh, SolidWorks to commit those properties. A little bit of a workaround, so pay attention to that. You may have to use that. So anyway, I've also liked to control the visibility of the bounding box. I usually turn that off I'm using the hide command. But so note now that the bounding box information is a full citizen in SolidWorks and I'm bringing in the, the property values here. Okay, so that's kind of thing one that you need to do. And then thing two is to go back to your open bomb settings, back at your uh, assembly, and edit your property list to include those new bounding box properties. I'm just gonna go ahead and add those in here. I just add, added them all, but you can choose what you which you find interesting. So I've added those to the properties that I'm going to bring from uh, SolidWorks uh, over to OpenBOM. And then let's just update the bill of material. <clears throat> so we'll let OpenBOM, you know, build that bill of material again, and we'll come back and take a look at it. And we'll see now that the bounding box information will be coming across. I, you can see I didn't choose, all, I didn't go through all, the, all my parts yet, but you can see right here I'm getting length and thickness and widths and all kinds of nice information that's calculated right inside of SolidWorks. So that, uh, that is the uh, kind of a nice little um, tip on how to bring size information right from SolidWorks into OpenBOM using the insert reference property bounding box command. I hope you find that useful. Of course, we love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com. Thanks.